एक रिलेबल चॉइस थ्री जी स्लैश फोर जी वायरलेस एन रूटर थ्री हंड्रेड एम बी बी एस थ्री जी फोर जी शेयरिंग डब्ल्यू पी एस वाई फाई सर्टिफाइड चाहे थ्री जी और फोर जी वायरलेस शेयरिंग थ्री जी फोर जी वैन कनेक्शन पैकअप डब्ल्यू डी एस वायरलेस ब्रिज इट इज कम विथ थ्री इयर्स वारंटी एक्चुअल प्राइस इज टू थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड नाइन्टी नाइन बट दे आर सेलिंग दे आर सेलिंग इन टू थाउजेंड थ्री फोर्टी एट समथिंग बिकॉज द अमेजन दे हैव नॉट मैंशन द प्राइस इन द लेबल बिकॉज इट हेज बीन पेड इफ इट इज कैश ऑन डिलीवरी हो इट हेज या आई हेव मेड इट कैश ऑन डिलीवरी वन मिनिट the utility if you are buying this product it cannot be worked as a dsl modem okay if you are thinking it will work as a dsl modem and 3g 4g also enabled it is not okay if you are bringing the internet through a dsl modem then you can cannot Use it as a Wi-Fi router, and if you are bringing 3G, 4G network, if you are connecting data card, you can utilize it as a Wi-Fi router. This is the thing, simple things they have mentioned in the top of the package. See, it is one port and wireless on and off, power, power on off. WPS switch and reset four LAN ports USB port for connecting data card this is the features and the benefits now i am going to unbox the product okay it's 3g slash 4g wireless n router okay 300 mbps speed they have given quick installation guide and uh, global technical support global technical support here you general public license notice this is the product okay this is ethernet cables and uh, this is the power cord yeah this is a beautiful it is look like very beautiful there's a dual antenna dual band mode like you can fix it in the wall also i 
I am going to I actually connected with the Huawei mobile broadband LTE Wingle Huawei E8372 okay this data card actually coming with inbuilt uh, Wi-Fi and uh, supporting 3G and 4G okay but actually I have instructed uh, Geo sim okay to utilize utilize 4G okay if you are connecting with uh, data card with the modem the four lights will be on the first one for power this one is Wi-Fi Wi-Fi okay this and all for LAN connections and this one is it, it has been connected with the internet this will blink and this has been connected with the USB data card this light is on because once you connected there is no need of any extra settings automatically you have to link with uh, you have to search via Wi-Fi to insert the default password then if you want to change Wi-Fi password you have to go through the settings okay other data card and all you need to enter IP address but to change the Wi-Fi any modification in this after connecting to the router you need to go through the settings tp link wifi.net default password is admin admin then you can change the password and you can modify wifi password there is no need of any extra settings if you connect your data card it is directly connecting to the internet how you know that it has been connected with the internet this light will blink not blinking this light will be on okay this is the uh, installation guide okay because tp link they have made it very simple process because if you are taking t link and all you need to make some extra configuration dial setting those kind of things and all but uh, my concern is tp link they made it very easy to use okay very convenient because you may uh, ask question if you are already using the Wi-Fi data card then why you need extra modem to Wi-Fi modem okay actually I am using the high question DVR because I am not using any broadband I need Ethernet internet to connect with high question because I was using before TP-Link okay the small mode the range was very less and uh, I feel it is not good okay then only I have purchased this one because this it got 300 Mbps you can convert data internet via Ethernet to which are the device you are going to utilize because some device some old system doesn't have the Wi-Fi facilities because you can use this modem to convert and also you can use this modem also because I was used this modem more than TP-Link 3020 I was using this one for more than 2-3 years it was good but range was very less that is reason 
I'm going to use this because TP Link everything they made simple because once if you connected your data 4G data card it will get automatically connected okay there is no need of extra settings after giving the connections you need to go through the this link to change your admin password the default is admin admin you have to enter tp link to connect to that wi-fi modem you have to utilize the default for the password wireless password okay they mentioned web if you are resetting your modem then you need to use this password to connect your this modem then after entering then you have to go through these settings nothing simple you have to enter tp link wifi.net admin admin then you can change admin password or you can change wifi password that's it very simple 